Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, January 16th, 2017. And I am finally back. <laughs> um, I have a couple of things to talk to you about that's been going on in my life. Why it's been some time between coming back. Like I thought I could come back sooner. I was supposed to be back last, last weekend. But I'm gonna to explain to you what has been going on that should make a little bit more sense to you. It's been really hectic and a little busy and some pitfalls has ha have happened in my life, but I'm gonna explain everything to you today. So this is gonna be a partial keto diet, a partial medical report, a partial business report. It's gonna have a whole bunch of stuff. So I ask that you stay tuned to the end of this video so you can hear all about it and what my goals are for this year. Anyway, so um, yeah, the last time I weighed in, and we're gonna start everything off with the keto diet first, and then it's gonna be partial keto medical report together. Um, the last time I weighed in, I was 206 pounds, and I was super, 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 super excited to get down to 199.9 pounds, because I just wanted to see below, you know, 200. I finally wanted to get into the hundreds. Well, um, prior to that, I had been going back and forth to my doctor because I have had um, excessive bleeding month, mo um, monthly menstrual cycles that have been um, substantially long, lasting a substantial long time. Um, for example, the first time I went to the doctor, it was on for about 45 days by the time that I went to the doctor. I just was sure it's gonna stop, maybe it's a fluke, maybe I'm getting older, maybe things are changing, I don't know. But I was only 42 at the time, now I'm 43. Um, yeah, 45 days is just a super long time to be waiting for um, Aunt Flo to go home. Anyway, so I went to the doctor. I told her what was going on. I made an emergency appointment and I thought she believed me. And then she told me to get undressed, lay down on the table. I did. She did her exam. And then she was like, I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. I had huge clots about the palm of my hand and this round in diameter just coming out. They were just tons and tons of clots. And all those clots are from fibroids and cysts. Now, I asked her, can she just simply remove the fibroids and cysts because she wanted to put me on medication. And I told her that I'm on a weight loss journey and I do not want to be put on a medication that's going to cause me to gain weight. So, because all, all of them are steroidal based. So I don't want to be put on a steroid, which is going to cause me to gain weight which is gonna defeat my main purpose of being on the weight loss journey. So she said she could do surgery, however, she would not because of my age, because I had not had any children and because of the location of the fibroids. My fibroids actually sit on the top of my uterus and they are growing. They're not large enough that will cause her alarm, but she would say, well, let's do the surgery now but they have grown quite substantially. And she said to do it, she would have to do a C-section to go in there to gain access to them, to remove them. And I didn't want a C-section. I am not pregnant, I don't have any kids. So therefore, I don't want you to do a C-section cut on me. And I have to go through the same healing process as a woman who had a baby, but yet I have no baby at the end of it. There's no reward at the end of having this C-section. So um, she and I both chose uh, not to do that and she adamantly refused to do it, so she gave me medication instead. So we're choosing a pharmacological means of treating um, the fibroids. So since of my age, I have very few options before me to choose from. So she's giving me, I know it ladies, and those of you who've been on this medication know what I'm talking about. She gave me Depro Deprovera. And I know you all know what Deprovera is. Deprovera will cause a woman to gain excessive amount of weight but she did not put me on the injection form of Depravera. She put me on the pill form of Je uh, Depravera, I believe, which is all estrogen based. So that particular medication, she said, should not cause me to have an excessive amount of weight gain. I was last 206 pounds. I went up to 229.8 pounds. I gained 23 pounds in water over the course of about a month and a half. About a month, about a month, because it's, it's been slowly coming. So about a month, I'd say, I've gained 23 pounds in water weight, but it's all water weight, it's not fat, because I know it's not fat. I'm, I'm going to the gym, I'm working out, 
feverishly. I went to the gym today and I ran a half hour. I have to be back at the gym at 4.30 for my um, uh, barbell class and at five o'clock I have a core class. So I'm gonna be spending two hours in the gym today and I normally spend about an hour in there every day doing classes and, and running. So I know that it's not fat. <laughs> it cannot possibly be fat. Um, but yeah, it's it's you, it feels defeating at times. But I just wanted to, and one of my subscribers encouraged me to talk about this. She and I um, talk outside of YouTube. So at first I was I was like, I don't didn't want to do this video because I didn't want to deter somebody else's journey by showing you I went from 206 pounds to 229. But she's like, well, there are people out there who have the same exact problem that you have. So I decided to go ahead and I'm doing this video and letting you know I did gain 23 pounds in water weight due to um, hormonal and steroidal um, medication. So since I am um, on this medication, last Sunday, I weighed in at 229.8. Today, I'm 225 pounds. So I've lost four pounds, a little over four pounds, four point something, I don't know if it's 4.5 or 4.8, something like that. I've lost four pounds this particular week alone. However, have I been following the ketogenic diet? No, I have not. For 21 days, I will not be following the ketogenic diet. And the 21 days started last Sunday. It ends on the 29th of January. The reason why I have not been following the ketogenic diet is because every year in January, I do a fast. It's a Daniel fast um, where we pray. The diet is not for weight loss. It's for prayer and drawing nearer to God and to read his word and to gain direction for this upcoming year. So what I have been doing is not because I want to lose weight while I'm doing the Daniel fast. It's because I have to pray and fast for 21 days as Daniel did in the book of Daniel. So in the Bible. So that's what I'm doing right now. So that diet is basically vegetables, fruits, nuts, and seeds. There are no chemicals. I can't eat anything that has a chemical. You can't have anything that has sugar. You can't have anything that has any kind of bread, any wheat whatsoever. Nothing that's animal-based. Nothing. Everything has to be clean, basically. So that's what I'm doing. And I try to keep my... I can't even say keep my carbs down because everything I'm doing is vegetable-based. Um, I eat few fruits. I eat the fruits basically to help me with my in my gym, basically. So I'm eating a lot of watermelon. I'm eating um, a lot of vegetables, a lot of cabbage, a lot of uh, broccoli, a lot of onions, a lot of different things that I'm cooking in different meals. That I, and I'm actually really, really, really enjoying it. But I miss my high fat. I miss having my bulletproof coffee in the morning. I'm telling you for the first week that I was on this, today and yesterday are the first days that I have not had a massive migraine. I've had a migraine every single day this week and a lot of my coworkers and some of the doctors I work with swear it's because you know I'm not having my bulletproof coffee. So I went off um, caffeine cold turkey. I don't know, maybe they're right, I don't know. Maybe my body was just purging itself. Um, I have never been so clean internally, I will say that. Um, since I've been on the Daniel fast and I feel great and I actually can say it's given me even more energy to exercise and I just I just feel great and I'll do it but yeah so that's what's been going on with that and that's why I have gained an, an enormous amount of weight so yeah I went from 206 to 229.8 and back to 225 pounds so actually I think I'm 225.4 now so I lost 4.4 pounds 4.4 pounds this particular week here. So that's that's pretty good, you know. So we'll see if I can get back down. So by the time the um, 29th comes, I want to see if I can at least get back down. <sighs> I know it. I feel I feel defeated. I, I, <laughs> I almost feel defeated. I don't know. I mean, when you're working out and you're exercising the hardest you can and you're eating right, doing what you're supposed to do, and you still gain weight. I mean, to gain that astronomical amount of weight is, is defeating. I mean, it, it's 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 like everything you're doing is worthless. And it's not like I actually have the choice to get off of this medication. I can't. I have to actually take it every day for life. 
So I have to make a lot of different lifestyle changes in order to get down to the weight that I want, but I am determined by August 29th, 2017, I will be 150 pounds. That, that, that I'm determined to be despite what I'm going through now, you know? So I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I'm going to do my best. Um, and I think I'm going to be very successful. I think I'm going to be very successful because I, I mean, I'm really putting my all into it. And just in this week alone, I've lost 4.4 pounds. So that's a great step in the right direction. So now I'm 225. So I just have to lose 25 more pounds and I'll be 26 pounds and I'll be below 200. <laughs> and I can do it. It's, it's like, it's just, it's just this freaking medication. Steroids suck. Anyway, what else do I have for you? Yeah, so I've started my at-home business, as you all know, and I, but I haven't told you, any of you, what my at-home business is, so I'm going to share a little bit of that with you now. Um, I became an independent Avon representative on December 2nd, 2016, and I have been loving it, loving it, loving it. Um, I love makeup. I love putting it on. I love lipstick, eyeliners, eyeshadows, foundation, concealers, highlighters, contour kits. I love them all. And Avon offers me that same um, range of makeup at a huge discount. So it doesn't make sense for me to purchase my Lancome 24 hour tint, which I love, which the foundation is $54. When I get foundation from Avon for $7.99, that's compatible comparable, I should say, to the Lancome, and I get another one which is on sale right now for $2.99. So for $10 to $12, I can get two foundations, much less than the price of one foundation from Lancome. So I, I love it, love it, love it, and I'm going to share more of it with you on my new channel, which is called Infinite Colors of Beauty. Um, I'm going to do product reviews for you over there, and I'm also going to do uh, makeup, you know, um, when I, let's say if I do a look of the day, if I do like a smoky eye or something like that, or my regular facial routine, something like that, I'm going to put out there for you on the other channel. So you can take a look at a lot of the products that I have to offer and maybe find something that you like. So, but in the description box below, I will leave a link to my website for you to take a look at, for you to see a little bit of what I'm talking about. Like for example, my skin has never been so radiant, so clear since I started using, um, the Avon uh, facial cleanser that I use. It's um, it's the Anu Oily Slash Combination Skin Cleanser, their Vita, Anu Vitamin C Serum, and their Nutra Effects um, Lotion, their Day and Night Cream. My skin has never been so matte and nice and just clean and beautiful. So I absolutely love my Avon products. I, I don't see a reason to have to go to the supermarket to purchase it anymore. I love their body washes. I love their fragrances. I love their clothing. I just really, really love Avon. And I never thought I would. And you think of Avon as like being something like an old lady would wear that your mother had years ago. and But it's not your mother's Avon anymore. <laughs> it really is not. It, they have everything that you would find from Tarte or from MAC, from, from Lancome, from... Uh, to, uh, Hourglass, anybody from Marc Jacobs, any of them, uh, Bobby Brown line, all of those lines you have out there, Anastasia of Beverly Hills, they have the same products that can compete with those big name brands, just not the big name price tag to go along with it. So I really, really love my Avon products and every day I wake up at least 40 minutes early just to put my makeup on because I love putting on makeup and I love doing it. So I'm going to share some of that with you on my new channel, but my new channel, please do not expect it for the next three to four weeks while I'm still getting everything organized for that. And I'm having, and I have a blog that I'm working on for that as well. So that does take a quite a bit of time and energy to get together. So I don't want to just put something out there that's not fully ready. And that's what's been taking and eating up a lot of my time. Uh, plus with Avon, you have to go out and toss catalogs. You know, I have to, if I get 300 catalogs, I have to print out 300 stickers, 600 stickers actually, because I put a sticker on the front and the back. Then I have to bag them all up. Then I have to load them into my car. Then I have to drive around different neighborhoods and put my catalogs in the little um, newspaper slot at everyone's home just so I can get some orders. So that takes a lot of time to do and to prepare for and alone to put up a YouTube video can take up to eight hours to put out there for you. But 
I hope you all tell me how the quality is of this video. I just purchased a brand new camera. This is, I'm filming right now with my Sony a6300. It's a 4K camera, so the picture quality should be better and it should feel like it's some like more real time. <laughs> Should be, <laughs> it should come across really clear for you. So tell me how you like the um, camera. And I'm gonna be getting my lighting that hasn't come in yet, nor has my microphone, they're mailing it. I should receive my microphone tomorrow. And by the end of the week, I should receive my lights in the mail as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, so I'm preparing for my YouTube. I just haven't gotten all of my tools together. But anyway, I'm not gonna make this an excuse video. This is what it is. This is why I haven't come on because I have been dealing with some medical issues as well as dealing with my Avon business as well. So um, I hope this video reaches you and you're safe, happy, and healthy. And keep watching because we're gonna see what I am next weekend. Um, hopefully I can be from 225 and I'm going to throw a clip in here of my weigh-in so you can see that as well. So hopefully next weekend I can be at least 223. I'm not expecting huge numbers seeing that I'm on the steroid, but I'm going to tug away. So if any of you out there are on steroidal medication or um, birth control pills such as I am that has steroids in them that causes you to gain weight or causes makes it harder for you to lose weight, I hope that you can maybe gain some inspiration from here and keep tugging away. Don't let that medication or that steroid be an excuse to why you don't lose weight. Don't let it be an excuse because the steroid is not technically causing you to gain weight. It's causing you to eat more, which causes you to gain weight, but you're really not gaining weight because I haven't gained any fat. I've gained fluid is what I've gained. It's not fat weight, it's fluid weight. So. Little changes in your diet can help release, release some of that. Like I lost four point, I think about 4.5 pounds this week. So don't let that be an excuse. Even if you're on steroidal medication, maybe look at what you're eating, maybe add in some more exercise. Um, the Couch to 5K app is what I've been using on my phone. In the morning time and in the evening time, I go to the gym. So give it a try. Do something else. Shake up your routine. Don't let it get you down where it's like, oh my God, I've gained all this weight. I'm never going to get it off. I have this steroidal medication I'm taking. Don't let that be an excuse. That's a reason why you are where you are, but that doesn't have to be the reason why you stay where you are. You can make some necessary changes in your life. But anyway, I want to thank all my subscribers who continue to subscribe to me. I want to thank all of my new subscribers who have subscribed. Um, I'm gonna keep forging ahead and watch and let's see what happens next Sunday. Hopefully I can drop three more pounds. Please God, let me drop three more pounds. <laughs> I'm fasting here. I'm not, no, just, anyway, I would like to drop three more pounds by next Sunday. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you go. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Good morning, everybody. My current weight is 225.8, bone is 6.4, my total body fat is 47.6, total body water is 43%, and total body muscle is 25%. Yes, yeah, so the steroids did make me go back up in weight, but I have dropped 4.2 pounds since last Sunday because I was 229.8 pounds. So that is my next goal to get back to where I was and down from there.